Welcome to our next episode of Fandom Family Chats. This is a production of Family Fan Clubs on Facebook. You can find us all over Facebook. You can find us all over social media under Fandom Family Chats. Look us up, get dialed in, get plugged in, and get ready to listen to some crazy people talk crazy stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to FFC. I'm Maureen. I'm Amanda. And I'm Jeanette. And we are back talking the final season two of The Way Home. We've got two episodes to cover tonight. We're doing nine and ten. And these were some pivotal things. Now, we did get a lot answered in these in these episodes, but there's also a lot that I wanted answered by the end of the season that we did not get answered. Yeah. Well, so it's coming back in 2025. Yeah, I was going to say, if they, if they answered everything now, then what are they going to talk about later? I didn't want everything answered now, but I wanted to know what was up with the horse. They no, did really not about answer that, that question. I it's, care. We already know. I who want it to is. see Colton in all of his gloriousness exit from the horse. <laughs> Do you really want to that's see what's going to happen? It would make me laugh if it was Ace Ventura style. Yes, because that's what I'm picturing. So I'm not <laughs> sure if I want to see that. Actually, I'm still on my Trojan horse coming out of the stomach. <laughs> like, <laughs> like but it's a real horse, though. That might be more horrifying. <laughs> so Unless, you think it's a mechanical horse? So maybe there's just he just hits a button. AI go. is maybe, very good these days. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe Colton just exits at night and then kind of walks around and does what he does and then goes back in for the day. Yeah. I don't know what the purpose of that would be. I it would be kind of mean. Pretty probably. spot on. I mean, now we know we know Colton is tra- time yes. traveling now. Okay. Let's I want to start here because we were I was all right very there. excited. Do you know that we were all right there? Because I was like, yes. I but I God humbled me a little bit because they zoomed out and you see Elliot and Alice. And I was like, oh, I was right. And I picked up my phone to tap and I went, wait, 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 wait mom, wait. And I was like, no. Yeah, I was watching and, and I was we thinking. both right. Yeah. I, think no, I, was I did thinking, the same thing. I was like, Dang no. It, Rain was, I was like, oh my God, if this isn't Colin, I'm going to be so mad. I didn't see. I was like, "No, uh, that's not the shirt he was wearing." I know the that's only not the shirt. reason you guys would have been mad is because I would have been the only one. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's yeah. the only thing going through my head. I was like, "She cannot be right on this." Not on Mm-mm. this one. No, we were all right. They were all there. <laughs> How are you right? Because Elliot and Alice were there. I mean, he was there. That's not the picture we saw, though. So I know? mean, that's a stretch on the whole. You, you're did, right, but you didn't you say he was in the vicinity. You said that was him. <laughs> I said it looked like him. Do we need Could to roll cold. the tape? Maybe. I feel like well, you need to go girls, back and find a clip. Don't and fact like check that. Girls, that uh, <laughs> girls do like guys who look like their dads. So, Ooh. No? my daddy issues. I have no idea because I don't know my dad. So, <laughs> <laughs> that could be a problem. Well. <laughs> I did. Okay. Did anyone else think, though, that when he turned around, how weird the visual looked? Like it looked like he was computer generated into the scene. Anyone else noticed that? A little cheesy. It was a little weird. Yeah. It was. It, yeah, yeah. It just looked like he was. It looked like. I think they were trying actually, something there. It actually looked like someone who well, maybe this is what they were trying. It actually looks like you know when, like for the Hunger Games, for instance, when um, uh, what is his name? The guy who played um Haymitch, not Haymitch. Um, he played Truman Capote. He played. Uh, he's the blonde guy. Oh. Really. I don't game know maker. his name, but I know who you're talking about. The yeah, because he's a game maker in the like yeah. whatever, no, second yeah, and third and fourth. Yeah. Now he died in real life. And Philip they, Seymour Hoffman. Yes, that's it. thank you. That's who it is. Yeah. And they computer generated him into the final scenes because he wasn't there to make it, and they didn't mm. want to recast yeah. him. They wanted to honor his character. Yeah, that's kind of what it looked like they did. Like what they do when someone passes on and they can't be there for the scene that they put him in there. Maybe that's what they were trying to do to like. I don't know, but it looked weird. I think that was just Hallmark trying to cut budgets. <laughs> I mean, it might have been. It, it was definitely weird looking. I agree. It's Hallmark. I mean, that's true. Anything's possible if you just believe. <laughs> that was one that was answered was if it's Colton there. So what do we now? Obviously, we know that that means Colton time travels. Obviously, At some point, mm-hmm. but we don't. We I don't know when that or that how. Means. I want to believe that that means somehow we're going to have him still be alive, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. I think he's got it. I think him and Thomas okay. have to be alive and coming back somehow. Okay, but yes. I, I, I agree. I'm getting a little bit confused and I might have to just go back and rewatch. I think I need to too. Didn't he die in his daughter's arms? Yes. And when she caught yeah. him, he said, my Catherine. Mm-hmm. 
So he recognized her fully adult face when they don't look the same. He recognized her fully adult face. He died right like months after Jacob went missing is when he died on the side of the road. And that was one of the first times Catherine went back or within the first like five times she went back. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? how could he be, how could he be still alive if he like died in her arms? Like, did he like roll away to the pond after she Unless the pond, I mean, you could change, because that's the whole thing, right? Don't change the past. You don't know what effects it'll have. Unless the pond is bringing him back to right before his death. To allow him to change it. So I think he did die, but I'm wondering if we're not going to be able to change something at some point. Because I I do think we're going forward. I think we're going forward too. I think Elliot's wrong on that, that you can't Mm. travel forward. He doesn't know. And the reason I think that is because, okay, like I understand why we couldn't bring, like I do get why Jacob as a grown man could not go back to when he disappeared. But Mm -hmm. technically this Jacob has never existed in the time period that he was brought to. So that for me sounds like you, like that kind of is him coming forward Mm -hmm. because he's never lived in that time period anyway. So I, I don't know. Now, I brought this up before because I thought, well, you can't coexist where you already exist. But then you guys brought up Kat did that. She mm-hmm. went back to the time when she was a teen. So Jacob theoretically could have gone back to when he was a kid. It, the, he could have done that very easily. Yeah. Kat did it. So there's no reason yeah. he couldn't do it. The, the whole thing that we have to keep coming back to is the pond brings you to where you need to be. Right. Yeah. So I yeah. didn't, we didn't get answered why he needed to be brought. And especially think... Because I really think that the next couple seasons we are going to be jumping forward. Well, and at also, least in part. Because I think Thomas Coyle has come forward. Mm-hmm. I believe, and I mean, here's my theory. I'm going to throw this out here just oh, so it is on record. It's okay? going to sort of destroy me when she has to pick between Thomas and Elliot. Oh, it's not going to destroy it's me. It's not going to destroy pick me. Thomas. Pick Thomas. Oh, Thomas. yeah. No, I'm going to. Okay. Elliot can. I don't care. But here's what <laughs> I, I think. It's like, happen. I. There's no question to me she has to pick Thomas. Like, what's up? Unfortunately, though, I'm just going to feel she's... bad for Elliot. I, 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 think I would gonna... feel a little bad. I actually think she's going to pick Elliot because it's Hallmark, and I think that's the way it's supposed to go. But mm. I don't I don't agree. But I think because Elliot's our main character, I do think that's where she's going to end up. But I don't agree. I think if Thomas comes forward, she's not going to not pick him. I think Thomas is already forward. I think there's a reason why we have not seen... I, I know that people want, and I still, in a some sort of way, like talking about Casey. Okay, I know that we're supposed to be believing maybe that she's Alice's like child in the future because of the ring. I think there is a reason why we haven't seen her father that we've talked about, mm-hmm. and I think it could very well be Thomas. Yes, because in this episode, in episode nine, she mm-hmm. says, "My dad said to not do this. We're not going to go forward with this. My dad arranged it." But clearly her dad had nothing to do with it. It was all her. And somebody on the internet brought this up and I thought this was kind of clever. I don't know. It's like really, but they said that what if Casey isn't like, her name's not Casey, like the name or whatever, but it's KC and it stands for Catherine Coyle. Oh, but like he would have named daughter after herself. Well, we don't know if it's her kid. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. But I'm just saying the Coyle. If he he had a baby with somebody else, you're saying, and he named her Catherine. Mm-hmm. oh that would be sad <laughs> but I also that other I woman <laughs> i don't fully believe in that because i do think that casey is somehow she i think looks, she's a landry she wants to be around Catherine and alice too much to not yeah. be tied to them yeah. no she's yeah. definitely she's not from this time Mm-mm. i don't she's think that forward. like her parents are in another time mm-hmm. she's traveling that's why she only appears like alice always appeared exactly I think she's definitely traveling. I just don't know if she's traveling from the past or future, but but the future. look of her, I feel like future. And also the way she speaks. Like she, yeah. well, we keep calling her she. I know, we she, really gotta, I'm sorry. We gotta Casey Goodwin oh. has called herself, yes. yeah. what is, she said she's a they, them. Is that what she yes. said? Yeah, I keep trying. I actually completely talking, forgot about talking that. Talking in that way would indicate future, not past. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, it could be current, yeah. but I don't think she's current. Yeah, it could I mean, be maybe, it's definitely maybe, not past, I don't think. No, I think you're right. Really with the they them, because I completely forgot about that. No thought. one, no one would, from the past would talk like that. They wouldn't have been comfortable no. saying that. No. Not to say that's like in the last what five years. Yeah. The the reason that I struggle with believing that they are Alice's child 
is because Alice has such dark features Mm -hmm. that I feel like what they look like just doesn't fit with being Alice's child. To me, they look more like the child of someone like Catherine and Thomas. Yeah. I mean, if you were to look that real, I mean, they really look that that could be it. Um, Unless, no Maureen hates this, unless Nick could be the father. Because then, I'm just saying. Okay, let's Ooh, talk about Nick. Alice and Nick. I yeah. felt <laughs> so awful for him. <laughs> but he found all that out. And he's sitting with his... Can you imagine what is going through this 40-year-old mind when he's sitting with <laughs> this 17-year-old girl going, I made out with you? You? When I was in love with you? Yeah. I was, was so, so uncomfortable distraught. in my own skin while I was... Like, my, was going, my daughter kept going, what's wrong with you? I can't. I cannot look directly at the screen. This is so awful. It's so uncomfortable. He was so disgusted <laughs> yes and i okay i get why he was like why would you never tell me this like i get that but what was elliot when he got that mad at elliot i was like nah dude yeah because what yeah. was elliot supposed to say to you that's so i, I get why he was mad but he did come yeah. to his senses pretty quickly he and did, he did yeah. say he's going to leave at first it was no i think i want to stay here but then he was like okay so you're so you're really 17 now so i'm like 20 years old and you i'm I'm gonna peace out and he decided to leave so i don't i think we're done with nick unless we find out know. that there is a possibility of traveling forward because then couldn't adult nick just jump forward to a point to where alice is the same age as i him? don't think he can time travel though don't, anybody don't, can time travel look i think everybody can time travel if we want to <laughs> i'm just gonna stand by that i don't know and oh yeah what, is, what do we think travel? about elliot time traveling I really didn't care. Is that awful? I don't care about Elliot at all. Anymore. I thought it was interesting I, more. Now, I think what that showed us was, A, he's, I think it's a founding family thing. I think founding families yeah. can travel. But also, B, Colton, obviously, in my opinion, knew exactly who Elliot, oh, adult sure. Elliot was. For because sure, there's yeah. no, I, there's no way mm-hmm. that Colton would just be divulging all the information to a random person. So that no. means that Colton has also traveled to the future beyond and has seen Elliot. Does that do we think that means that maybe Colton knew who Alice was the whole time? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe that's why he gave her like the guitar and like really mm-hmm. kind of took her into his, his wing. Because like remember, he was standing right behind Elliot and Alice when they were watching the bonfire. Mm-hmm. He was standing sure. right there. Yeah. Oh, that's when he saw adult Elliot was when he was in the bushes watching them at the bonfire. Yeah, that's true. But okay, I still think true. I still think he traveled yeah. to the future to see him. I think so. And I think like us saying like, I honestly am not convinced that the, the pond is even just because we, Susanna tried and she couldn't. She's a founding family. But Elliot tried but, before too. That's what I'm saying. I think the pond, I don't even know if it matters who you are. I think the pond just decides all the rules. When, I don't yeah. Know there is I mean, because there's rule. been times where Alice like, and Kat couldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure where we're getting that there are these official rules. I don't know that there are any. I think the Mm-mm. pond just does what it wants. Uh, but again, I go back to, and I know that this is what they said, that the pond takes you to where you need to be. I think because the pond is on Landry land, people are able to time travel if it affects Landry's and they have to fix something within the Landry's is what I think. Possible, and I yeah. think that the Landry's are so tied to all the founding families because I think all those founding families were competing against the Landry's mm-hmm. and trying to take from the Landry's or due to the Landry's. Mm-hmm. So there's these generational things that need to be fixed. And that's why I think it's the founding family members who are able to do it. Like Elliot, his family was deeply rooted to the Landry's. And I think that's why the pond allowed him to, but not until a certain time. I have another question about Elliot's family. Okay. I got the impression, and I could just be wrong, that Susanna was it. Like, it sounded like her father was gone. I got no impression that there was any, like, brothers or any other family members around. Oh, she I don't clearly had kids. That's what I'm wondering. And how did the Augustine name go forward? Unless Jacob and her said good by affectionately they gave a really long hug to each other and how old was she when she died have we figured but then that that would be she really was... weird because then jake would like, be weird he would be a descendant of the really Landry's. i mean he was gonna marry her anyway it wouldn't have been weird no i'm talking about like elliot being a part of the landry family then but kind of yeah but fun. hundreds of years apart i mean, biologically, yeah. I mean if you take us <laughs> all back <laughs> we're all related biologically though because jacob is cat's brother that would cat would be his aunt at that point or not i guess no because i guess there's so many years yeah hundreds of years years. i don't know it just seems so if you take i guarantee if we all look at our husband's family trees and our family trees 
and we take it back, we are going to oh. find a familial link. No, I really don't. I don't think that that would be. No. I think that's too far removed. I think that would be fine. But I do think, obviously, she has to have a baby with someone. Mm-hmm. Because there wasn't anybody else. It was. It sounded like her family, though. It was a big family that started this. Mm-hmm. But that's. I think that's what I'm confused on, the timeline here. Of course, we come there 24 years after Jacob landed, right? So right. maybe 24 years ago, her whole family was there and then they were cut off by the Landrys because there's something that Elliot's dad did say about once we, if you knew the truth of what happened, I found the truth with, between how everybody treated the Augustines. So that's something we still don't know yet either. Yeah. So we have to go back in time at least to find out what that was, unless they were just putting that in there as a green ring pop, which would be stupid. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Victor was kind of an a-hole. Yeah, but I, he was. He was a terrible, awful person. But I don't think that... He, I think he actually found something. I mean, he was holding the papers in his hand. Mm-hmm. That's true. And I do think there has to be a reason why there, why Susanna was the only Augustine back in that time, in 1814. Yeah. Yeah, There's got to be a reason. Where's everybody else? More, but... She was. She didn't... said she was by herself. And that's why Jacob had to marry her to save her, because there was no one else to save her. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... I, she clearly but the augustine name remains is the issue and i think it would be unheard of for like a single woman like her i mean they could hide it and they could say you know i mean back then what people would do is this is my niece i'm caretaking for my niece who my whoever a family friend's baby they couldn't care for him they couldn't afford him so i took them in like i mean they did that stuff all the time no one believed it but it was a way to avoid scandal yeah maybe thomas and susanna i mean maybe I don't. Well, oh, that would be sad. I know. I mean, but if Jacob left and never came back, Susanna but, doesn't need to just die all sad and alone. But the only yeah, thing but- is, if it was Thomas and Susanna, I think Thomas would give that baby his name. I think so too. But yeah, if Jacob true. were the one to get her pregnant and then leave, unless Jacob is presumed, maybe we presume him dead. I don't know, like after he leaves or something. I, no, I think he I think Jacob would have said goodbye. I think he was leaving because he had to leave. I don't think he was leaving because I don't buy that I wanted to come home. I, I mean, maybe he did on some level, but I think he had to leave. It was the way he said that stuff about Thomas mm-hmm. when he's like, no, he's still alive. He's the first of all, that gave me indication, okay, Thomas is not done in the show. Mm-hmm. But also yeah. that he Jacob had to leave. He saved Thomas somehow. He got Thomas out of the mess somehow, and then he had to evade capture by leaving. I think he would have been preparing to say goodbye to these people. Mm-hmm. and I, I don't the only way i could see it still being augustine is if she had it on her own and the father was unknown or not around unable mm-hmm. to be around so that the only one i could think of that she'd be willing to do that with is jacob yeah. and jacob would return home so he's clearly no longer there so then she would give the baby the augustine name that's yeah. the only thing i can think of but I, oh that's what i was gonna say like i got the impression though that her and jacob weren't actually romantically they weren't. involved at all so like the idea of them him fathering a child seems like why like why unless they just he was leaving and they felt desperate and they needed comfort and that's just what happened maybe i don't know honestly it seems far-fetched to me too but yeah. i don't know how because that line has to carry on somewhere i got the indication that she wouldn't do that with any man is the impression that i got from Susanna. well same that's why it made me nervous about um what's his name like because if Tom, if like Jacob left, like hopefully Thomas does end up being with Susanna. Because if Jacob leaves, and Thomas isn't with Susanna, then um, oh gosh, what's the other guy? The bad guy, Cyrus Goodwin. Are we sure he wouldn't just claim her again as his wife? But again, the August, then the, she would be a Goodwin, not an Augustine. That's what, yeah, I know. So that's why it's it's very confusing how the line continues. I don't know. Unless there's familial ties that we are missing. Maybe, again, maybe we don't know is. what happened prior to Jacob landing there. So maybe her family wasn't murdered. Maybe they had to leave and then they no. returned. Maybe that's yeah, maybe. the case. Maybe it's not up to her to carry on the line. Yeah. As it stands right now, she is the only one to carry on the line because that's all we know. Yeah. But it could be that Cyrus did take her. I hate the thought but, of that. But like, like, absolutely. And then mm-hmm. she would have. she could have given it the Augustine name. But I don't think... I don't know. I don't see that happening. I don't see Hallmark doing that. Yeah. But that would be a reason why Vic was so awful and terrible and what he found out, too. And maybe her, though, being pregnant or something and having a baby would be a reason why Cyrus Goodwin wouldn't want her because Mm -hmm. she would be, like, defiled or whatever. Yeah. 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 I don't know. 
Okay, and here's the other thing. Let's let's go to that masquerade party where Elliot <laughs> says this wasn't supposed to happen and he's changed things. I don't know why they're all assuming he changed things. Mm-hmm. Because he didn't change anything by inviting Catherine no, there. I, I got he didn't change that too. They, even adult Elliot is insisting he changed things. No, you didn't. The conversation yeah. would have happened regardless. Yeah. yeah. It's you didn't change anything by her choosing that because Catherine was completely unaware. She chose to go with you and had that conversation. Yeah. The only thing you changed is that you pushed Brady, but you would have done that anyway. So yeah. that's not really a change. I mean, tempers are at an all time high. You would have, Elliot would have made the same decisions he made. It was Alice who said, no, you can't go. You're changing these. Cause she just assumed that Catherine was going to say yes, which shows you how little mm-hmm. stock she puts in her mom too. Like you're just going to run away with Elliot. Yeah. But it, it was kind of sad to see how she found out that she was pregnant. But I mean, her mom would have ran away with Elliot had she not been pregnant. I think. That's exactly it. Yeah. I do yeah. think so. Yeah, she would have. And that's what I'm saying, baby. though. Like, that's kind of sad that she, mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds like they ended up having, like, a happy life, at least for a while. But, like, they that's did. sad that you stayed just because you were pregnant. I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't think that's the only reason she stayed. I think that's the reason that she decided not to go to London anymore was because yeah. she was pregnant. But I think she always loved Brady. Yeah. I think that that never left. I think that she felt trapped. And so she was running out of fear. I don't think she was running because she didn't love Brady. But I think Brady was the bigger person in all of this because Mm -hmm. Catherine didn't even tell him anything about London. Didn't tell him she was applying. Didn't tell him she got it. She didn't trust him with any of that information. She didn't give him any of that information. And he Mm -hmm. was completely thrown off. Like, he was like, what? You did what? You're what? And even, I, wasn't it that he didn't find out until he was an adult and it was Alice who told him? I don't remember that part. I, I think, yeah, because he, that's when he went up to Catherine and he said, why didn't you ever tell me about London? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. In like, Dell's house. Yeah. And that's like, oh, you didn't give him enough credit because to mm-hmm. me it seemed like Brady loved her and he yes. might have just done this with her. Like mm-hmm. He fought for know. her, literally. Yeah. yeah. He found out she left and he was like, no, we're not, this is not how this is ending. I'm going to, yeah. we're going to talk this through. And if you still leave, you leave, but I'm not going to give up without a fight. That yeah. was who Brady was. Catherine was the one who was like, mm, yeah, this is a little too tricky for me. Peace out. I'm gone. Yeah. So I, you know, Brady is my favorite. Yes. <laughs> I know. He's like, other than Thomas <laughs> Coyle, but of the current people, Brady is my favorite. I've always liked Brady. I liked him last season. And y'all I didn't like him the first play, like, but it's because he was a jerk in that first season i mean kind of but like i don't know like... he left her for his younger hot little model and then he kept coming well, back to Barry haven whatever are... to make out with her even though he's married to somebody else now <laughs> i don't know if we ever got a full story there because we don't know what happened in their marriage and now that we're seeing i mean she almost left him like in the beginning for elliot so i don't feel as bad about it now like had it not been oh i don't know either but Ellis, I, that doesn't yeah. make what he did right though because well, by no. brady and Catherine's own words he did choose this other woman over Catherine and she was significantly younger than Catherine. And I, the one thing I, I remember him saying it was a secretary, but I don't know if that's fully right. Yeah, I don't remember the younger part. I just remember it being a secretary. I thought Catherine said something about 26. Maybe it's been a long time since I've seen season one. So, I mean, he chose this younger girl. He left yeah. Catherine for this younger girl. He basically was like, I'm done. You're done. We're done. Goodbye. You want to hear me out for a minute though? Like, okay, no. Catherine sometimes... <laughs> Like, do we know what she was like in this marriage? Because there are times when Catherine really, like, stresses me out. I'm with you. Not that I'm saying, I'm not condoning, like, obviously, like, cheating or doing anything Mm -hmm. like that. But I'm just saying, I'm not sure that this was so one-sided. I don't think it was either. But what Brady did was wrong. I think we can all agree on that. Yes, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I can can also sympathize and say, well, there was probably reasons, but still what he did was wrong. And that he kept returning to Kat while he was with this other woman to make out with her. I was like, dude. Yeah, that was just it. That was off. just to give us a love triangle. Make your da- make up your dag on mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we don't hear his other lady's name mentioned at all in season two. It's this like she just why, vanished. I'm not convinced that he's out of the picture completely because I feel mm-hmm. like otherwise, why have we not met this other woman? Like yeah. the fact, just like Nick's woman, like the fact if I had not laid eyes on you, I don't consider you an actual player. <laughs> have we not, not met real. Nick's woman? no we've heard her name if you're new you're not really in this time you're a time traveler if we haven't met you you don't actually exist i don't think you're like anything if i haven't seen your face so i still feel like victor is from the past i mean there's something off with him 
There's yeah, something maybe that's why so he drinks off with Victor. Maybe that's why he drinks because he cannot cope with this time. Maybe that's where the rest of Susanna's family went. They went to the current time. Maybe that's actually where Elliot is. Maybe that's his line. But then why wouldn't the pawn take Susanna anywhere? Because it wasn't ready for her. Just like with Elliot, it wasn't ready for him. Yeah, we need to get her out of there. Like, I'm sure. We'll, I still think there's something up with Evelyn Goodwin, too. Like, why was she? Oh, yeah. There's more. Because yes. what happened to that party was not enough for Evelyn to never leave her house again and become, mm -hmm. like, this, like, hermit. Like, Yep. And watching from the window with binoculars. What were you watching for? Yeah. What were you waiting for? No, there's something. There's more to that story. We haven't gotten the whole thing yet. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And, like, the whole painting. Her having the Catherine painting in her house the the symbol like there's so this is still why I believe that Thomas is somehow and I mean Thomas knows that the Goodwin name means something mm -hmm. so how why I mean how do we know that if Thomas comes forward he didn't just take on the Goodwin name and pretend that he's like part yeah. of that family because that would get him somewhere like I feel like he's smart enough to like do something like that mm -hmm. he faked his death yeah so I mean do we know that he faked his death or yeah, did Jacob the... heal him? No, oh, that's he... right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He had that like vest on. Mm -hmm. So maybe he went to a different town and took on the Goodwin name. Or maybe he went to a different town and took on the Augustine name. And that's how the line continued. Maybe him and Susanna run away together and they use her name instead mm -hmm. of his. Because his would be, he's supposed to be dead or whatever. Maybe yeah. that's it. I do feel like that because I think what Susanna Thomas if like let's say Elliot is a descendant of Thomas Coyle <laughs> and then she's going to choose between them who are like I can see that family I th I can Ooh. see that that makes sense to me that makes because sense. I think Susanna and Thomas are the same sort of personality where they'll do what needs to be done just to, if, yeah. if it's not it doesn't have to be a love match for them but I think that they would see, okay, we need to further this line, whatever, and they would do what needs to be done there. Mm -hmm. And I could see that there wouldn't have to be love there for those two. Yeah. And his yeah. name is obviously Coyle. I mean, that's not a founding family. There's no power in that. But Augustine is a founding family. So that name would be more beneficial than Coyle would be. And he could mm -hmm. hide. Sure. That's a good He's theory. He's supposed to be dead. I know it that's is. Our, that's our standing theory right there. That's not our only yeah. standing theory. I mean, that's mine for that. Okay. For that. Let's There's talk some other theories. Okay, so let's talk about Evelyn since we're right here. What do we think her connection to Colton is? I don't know. But the, I she's think, a time I, traveler. She, she is one. I don't think she's a time, but I think she knows something she shouldn't. And I, at first I was yes. thinking she was, she like Jacob traveled forward and the pond wouldn't bring her back is what I thought originally. Yeah. But now she's one character who I have zero idea. I just know something is off, but I have nothing. And why? Because they said Same. do it for, like she said to do it for Colton. So obviously she cares for Colton. Oh, when that's Del right. When Del met she, with her. Yeah. So obviously there's some sort of, and it can't be a, like a romantic thing because I like, think it I was. Think she, I think she's too old. Because I think she's quite a bit she older than them. I don't think so. I got the impression she was older than Del. Yeah. I thought so. But how much? But like at least 10 to 15 years, I thought. Really? Yeah, I was oh. thinking like 20. Because Dell is, let's assume, let's see, Kat is about, our, Kat is our age. Our age. So Dell is. Dell is my mom's age. Something, 60 to 70, somewhere in that range. Oh, that's right. Because Evelyn died of old age. Yeah. So I think she's at least 10 to 15 years older. Yeah. Okay. So could, yeah. She, could Colton be like, I mean, maybe she was, maybe Evelyn was a Landry who married a good one or something. I don't know. Oh, well, that's a possibility. Colton's aunt or grandmother or something yeah like an aunt maybe I feel like would be the right mm -hmm. like somewhere there's some sort of familial relationship I think I don't there. I don't know but I don't or know something I don't know but she don't... was more tied to Elliot than she was to Catherine she gave more to Cat to Elliot than she did to Catherine yeah yeah Elliot was a lot but also maybe Elliot because... stayed there for so many years and Cat has a and maybe right. Elliot was trying Elliot to make was up the more for that party and well, nobody knew yeah. No, but I mean, even before that party, Elliot was really close. Yeah. With, that's why he was able to host the party there because but he, because Evelyn Elliot trusted was, in him all the time. I think he was the more responsible teenager than Kat. I think is, and plus he stayed there, whereas like Kat went off to college. Yeah. I don't know. There's some, I, 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 don't, I don't, I'll know. accept any theory there because I, I got nothing. I just know something's not right and we're not done with her yet. 
No. Especially since that painting was in there. Mm -hmm. That's because Thomas Coyle, like, passed that painting along. And part of me thought at first that she was Susanna. That's what I thought at first. Mm -hmm. And that's why she felt so connected to Elliot is what I was thinking. I mean, maybe she was just watching Cap for all those years because she's like, I've had this this she didn't know it was there that's right in my house this whole freaking time and, and now she's just walking around and starting to look like her the older she gets she might be like and might be like i'm those... going insane <laughs> evelyn did have all those almanacs and all those books remember when she dropped them off at the paper that the paper inherited so maybe she did know about maybe goodwin took copious notes about the pond and maybe he wrote generational through generation through generation wrote down all the notes about weird things that were happening and so maybe she was aware because of that and that maybe she read through them all and then she had that painting of Catherine. So she's like, okay, what is happening? And maybe she was afraid and that's why she stayed in the house. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jacob shows a map of what he plans to grow on the land when he becomes a farmer. He wants to turn the pond into a big fish tank. But Colton reminds him that the pond is off limits. When did that happen, Amanda? Yeah, I mean, this is an episode flashback. nine, but I don't remember it. Oh, yeah, as Del reviews the Goodwin's land off, she has a flashback to sitting in bed with Colton. Yo, I don't remember the pond at all. When they were standing in front of it, or am I, oh, maybe I'm actually thinking. Oh, no, Colton. I think, isn't it when he's like, he, yeah, they're in bed, and I feel like Jacob's telling her, like, about something. I don't know, I vaguely remember. Is that the mommy happened. mail? I think that's where the mommy mail thing happens, like, okay. where that we leave. I think, I, think that's, I think that's right. So, do you think that he planted all that stuff on the land when he got back there? In 1814, and that's what made the land so profitable. Why the Landrys were set. Maybe that's why it's such a big deal that they're going to sell it off to the Goodwins. I mean, maybe. Because, I mean, Jacob has a map of what he plans to grow on the land when he becomes a farmer. And yeah. that's what he ended up being. About that, but... And he wants to turn the pond into something else. And when Colt reminds him that the pond is off limits, I mean, obviously, Jacob's like, oh, <laughs> I get why it's off limits now. And now mm. that makes sense as to why Colton, like at the time we didn't understand why Colton was saying like it was off limits, but he knows too, because he's time traveling. We're yep. going to learn so much more about Colton in the next season, I hope. Can't wait. Because there has to be reasons. Okay, there's so also you can't just like give us a like tiny bit and then not dive into it. Yeah. Plus, because Colton's obvious. I mean, okay, so let's talk about that last scene with that mm -hmm. old lady. That's what I was going to bring like up. What time? Which, granted, the way she's dressed and the way he's dressed, it, I feel like it really like leaves 1800s. it open. hundreds. I, I feel like it left it a little more open for interpretation of. I like thought it was like movie. early nineteen hundreds. Is the way I felt. I feel like it left it purposely, like to where there was nothing completely revealing to let us know. Like it was. Oh, I'm going to go all the anywhere. way and see if I can find a picture. Maybe is that it? old woman. Do we think that could that old woman be Evelyn Goodwin? I mean, it could be. Um, although Colton. she was already really old then so i don't know i know it calls to you she told him remember what i said it will always take you where you need to go but you need to stay here for now it's not your time not yet you just have to be patient colton i don't know i feel like i remember the the tapered leg the tapered pants to be reminiscent of the 1800s mm. the clothes were definitely i i think if it's not the 1800s it's like early 1900s like I it's be a different time because i want it like something different because we've already been in the 1800s with jacob i i think it's a little bit after i think colt like um, okay who was colton's parents i wonder wait now remember when they're talking about how when jacob came to them he saved them because did they say they lost a child yeah yeah but i think it was the baby that died Oh, is that what yeah. it was? Yeah, I because think, it's like fever or something. Something. I think he said the fever <laughs> took it or something. Like. Okay, it could be the it could be the 1900s. I just looked up the scene. It could be the 1900s. It's, he's wearing his pants folded up, but he his shirt is very reminiscent of 18 late 1800s or early 1900s. The way the so grandma's dress is more 1900s. So he definitely wasn't born when he, everyone so thinks he was born. He clearly moved forward. Yes, that's true. That is true. I definitely think the next. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's definitely disproving Elliot's theory. Then, mm -hmm. did you say disproving or proving? Disproving. Disproving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what other things? Um, okay. Do you think that Noah was just a blip? Like, what? What was the purpose of Noah? Do you think there was any purpose there? Yeah, here's, I, I, there's got to be more somewhere. I don't think I it's time traveling related. No, I, I don't either. That's all the, 
but there's a the lady what's her name the lady that runs the i don't know which remember. episode this was in that runs the the one who said that he's he amounts to nothing yes why would you say that because he obviously was like the most popular guy in school i mean he i mean like i feel like he didn't he doesn't seem like a bad boy Mm-mm. Mm-mm. so like why i feel like there's got to be something about his family that would make you believe that yeah i agree and i'm wondering if he is aware because like what is his last name He's not a founding family, I don't think. No. So I they wouldn't have had like copious records. Well, maybe they did keep copious records, even if they aren't. But I got the feeling that he knows more about Alice than he's leading on. Like he's acting like, oh, I'm just meeting you for the first time. But he would sit in there and he would watch her. Yeah. So I felt like something in his family's history or his family history books that he knows that the Landry, there's something that the Landry mm-hmm. family is doing that nobody else is really doing. Or yeah. should be able to do and so i felt like that was his connection to her was i want to do what you do or i want to have what you have or i want to figure out who you are and what you're doing yeah but i don't think he himself is a time traveler i think he is no, from that time but there's something off with him and you're right that woman did say that do you have a theory on why you think she said that no i mean because i don't think we know enough i mean also because like what his grandpa i mean owns the food truck which yeah I mean, that's like a that's not that's, fair that's living. A legitimate business. That woman owns like, a cafe. Yeah, I mean, so it's the same thing, just on wheels. I mean, like, so who is the but why his grandfather? Like, what about his parents? Do we know anything mm. about them? Oh no, we we've don't. only talked about his grandparents. So maybe there's something up with his parents that his parents would that's likely be about her age because they all have kids about that age. So maybe mm. there's something to do with one of them that yeah is suspect or whatever. I don't know. So I think we're going to learn more about his role because I'm going to be irritated if they don't bring him back because otherwise yeah. it was a pointless deviation from the story. Yeah. And I don't like shows like this that are all mystery. I don't like the pointless deviations. Like, don't do no, that. Don't, we're, don't treat us like idiots. So I think he has to come back. I think we are going to learn way more about Casey Goodwin. Mm-hmm. Goodwin. I don't think she's a good one. I think she understands, like Thomas Coyle, I think she understands the power of the Goodwin name. Mm-hmm. And I think she knows that there won't be a good one there who can say, nope, she's not a good one. But she could be a good one if Thomas Coyle is her dad and he's now a good one himself. Remember I said like, what if oh, that's right. a good yeah. one name? So could be. And know. maybe she's more interested in Catherine because her dad's in love with Catherine. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But I feel like that might be a stretch. I don't know, but she, she's... I think we're going to find out she is from the future. And I do like the idea of it being Thomas and Catherine's baby. Yes. The only thing is, though, that would be sad because the only reason then for her to, why would she have, because that ring is the one that Brady gave to. So that's the only thing holding back that theory for me. That ring that Alice saw is the ring that Brady. Oh, yeah. That's why I kept thinking it was Alice's daughter from the future. Yeah. I mean, that's the only part that holds that theory back. Unless unfor- unless so sad, like something bad happened to Alice. And then this is why she now has it. Or they have it, sorry. Um, I don't know. Which, I don't want that either. But we've had the same thing with, like, you know, Colton. If we can get him back. Maybe, maybe in the Alice gave to it Alice. to her. Maybe Alice, even though it's her sister. Maybe Alice is like, here, this is something my dad gave to my mom. And it was something very special and important to me. And I want you Ooh, to have it. Maybe she- Maybe she gave it to Casey as a way because uh, somebody else pointed out that Casey does is not wearing the ring in earlier clips. It's only in that mm-hmm. last scene. Oh, Maybe really? Future Alice gave it to them as a way to like be able Convince. to tell Alice and them who she is or who they are. Oh, maybe like, prove like, it. Proof. Proof. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that could be that guitar that Alice plays is Colton's, right? Yes. And it has the coil sticker on there. It does. Mm-hmm. So what do you think Colton's relationship is with Thomas Coyle? I think he's got to know him in some way. It can't mm-hmm. be his daddy. No. Oh, he better not <laughs> oh, be his daddy. Don't. Oh, no. Because then that would be It's Hallmark, Amanda. I know. <laughs> That's what I was saying they can't be. I was just taking away of an option. Well, no, that popped in my head for a second, too. And I was like, ew, gross, no. <laughs> I, I wonder too. if he either time traveled back to where thomas is maybe colton's the one who brings thomas forward yeah but i think that thomas either is from the same time period that colton was or colton traveled back there and met thomas and thomas helped him along the way maybe it's after he he um died you know Mm -hmm. after he saved himself whatever 
Oh my gosh, my brain is. And maybe Thomas Coyle's line oh dies out and he does, Colton doesn't want it to because Thomas Coyle did some amazing things and loved his daughter. So he put the sticker on the guitar. There's just so many maybes. Alive. And... I know. I did not have this many questions in my head when we started this podcast. So I'm not very happy. <laughs> so right it now. always works that way. <laughs> but see, they didn't really answer much. All they answered was that little boy that we saw at the very beginning season or scene in the first season is Colton. Mm -hmm. That's a definite oh, that we have. I didn't now. even realize that. I I because yeah, we saw that scene. <laughs> That's the scene we were just talking about. That's the very end. They oh, show yes. it in the beginning too, though. Yeah, I, I thought that was because Jacob. remember we thought. Yeah, that's what we all assumed. That's what we all thought. Yeah, I but know. I didn't think about it after. Oh, that. okay. <laughs> they just revealed at the end of the season that it was actually Colton. Uh, we know oh, that. Yeah. I think the end the last couple episodes what they more answered was questions about colton but not enough to satisfy what is going on with him because they focus yeah. so heavily on colton mm -hmm. in that last episode that there is going to be a boatload of him coming through in season three and i think now yeah, we've also i don't know about you all but i no longer like sam like i have like doubts about sam now again did you all like catch on to when elliot was oh yeah the coins yep he made a face. Oh, Sam. He made this really weird, like yes. No, he has now. been. I I'm feel like he's a good one. I think he That's is. That's how too I now. was feeling too. I was liking him there for like that was my initial reaction, and then I liked him, and I was like, no, he's good. But now, no, I think you're right. I yeah, think I he think... knows a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think he's trying to feel that family out and seeing what they. Because mm -hmm. he did just kind of appear. How long has she known him? Not he long. Just popped up. He just popped up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he can definitely be from a different time. He could uh, also be from Thomas Coyle's line. Because it was like Thomas him. Coyle's. Yeah, but I don't think, I, I don't mean that in a good way. I mean, Thomas Coyle's legacy is sort of deceit and trickery and con man. He's a good man at heart. Thomas Coyle did it out of necessity, not because he's a terrible, awful human being. But yeah. the way he perked at the coins, it's either because they're Goodwin's coins and he's like, I want those back or because they're Thomas Coyles and he's like, mm, I want those back. Mm -hmm. But and I think be because, I mean, we got to realize that Thomas Coyle was pronounced dead still mm -hmm. in the books as of today. He was declared dead that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So could people like he started this new life somewhere else and he couldn't really use this name anymore. So mm -hmm. I mean, it could just be, he could be anybody. He could be anybody. Yeah. Oy. But even the way it was, because I but wanted to Why would he have like, a sticker with his name on it? He had to build like a brand somehow. He wouldn't just have a Unless random Colton sticker Colton made it because guitar. Colton knew him. Colton might have met him on his travels and know what he meant like to Catherine. Sticker, like on yeah. his, like, like how Pinteresty do you think well, I was gonna say they didn't, have, they didn't have, <laughs> well, like, in the 90s, we all made stickers. Then. How'd you I, make, make I didn't make stickers. Stickers. I didn't make stickers. That was part of what, that was one of the things we did when I was in eighth grade in our class. We had choices. Yeah, of, but this looks like professionally done. This like looks it's like brand. on your cricket machine. Like this is. They didn't it's have just a sticker. Section. It looks like professional. It's all done. cut out. Like no, it's, it's it has. Yes, a, it is. It has a like sticker. a sticker. I know it might it might be all glued to the letters, but it's just a sticker. No, there is something behind. There is like a brand. <laughs> of something there's something yeah, behind like, that yeah it looks like stickers we sell now like and i'm on, getting on irritated now. of why that has been a question for half <laughs> for a while now and they're not even like it's like they're like oh there's something on the guitar we had no well, idea look, that's not even been addressed by the show that is only no. the fans mm -hmm. that have picked that out i know like, it's why it's irritating and this <laughs> like could an just be a green ring pop because the show has not focused on that because i mean we were insistent no. on cruel summer everything that they do has meaning and so we're conditioned that everything but, that happens on here has meaning but, but that's his like, name oil? This, it's not like smith and he gave the like guitar something. to alice like, like why would he give his prize to guitar to alice if he, he didn't, didn't it know. was colton's guitar i know well colton would give it to did he give it to alice did colton give it to alice i thought cat gave it to alice did cat give it to alice? alice i don't remember now that's been seen but much. even if colton did give it to alice it's because colton's a time traveler he knows that alice is his granddaughter i know that's why? that was like a big clue i feel like we like, I feel like Kat needs to notice that sticker now. Like, you know this man. Like, what? You, you, like, are in love yeah, with this she man. she didn't, like, and watch like, Alice playing guitar and be like, hmm, I wonder why that's just coil. Well, where we saw the guitar, well, I mean, we haven't really seen it in season two, 
right? We've She's seen, seen it. the guitar millions. But, no, no, I'm coming like, to a point here. We haven't seen it in season two, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, maybe have... when? When did she play it? In she season was two? just playing it on the porch, like the last couple of episodes. Oh, yeah, she maybe. was? I mm-hmm. think so, maybe. Oh. Alice was. Well, the picture was taken from a when season Tasty one shot, up. I think. Oh, that's right. She was. Mm-hmm. But the picture was taken like a couple months ago, right? That where our fans yeah. were like noticing. So it had to be from season one. So maybe the East, maybe the reason it's on there is because. It was, they wanted you to know, hey, Thomas Coyle is going to be important when you see him. Remember that name. Maybe. It could be that. that I don't be want it. it to be that. It's going to make me mad if that's what it is. But I am, I'm burned and skeptic because of that the stupid green ring, green ring pop. pop. No. Oh, I still convinced that green ring pop. Was it something. had to. Sorry. So, that's going to come otherwise. off really loud in the podcast whenever, We're when really I edit this. we about this green ring pop. We have been for a long time. It's fine. Have we ever explained <laughs> that to anybody? You know what? I feel like they just need to go back and listen to our Cruel Summer episodes. Season one, Cruel Summer. Okay. If you want to know about the green pop. I do remember that now because when my when my daughter and I were watching the last episode, I was like, oh, and I paused it. Like, you see that? What does it say on that guitar? Like, I figured it out. <laughs> like, I just noticed it right there. Look at this. <laughs> Look at how smart I am. Look at what I just saw this very <laughs> moment for the first time ever. <laughs> and then she looked at me. She's like, what does that mean? I'm like, well, I, I don't, don't have an answer for that. I just know it's there. <laughs> yeah. It means that that's Thomas Coyle in some way. I don't know. I do like the idea of a brand because it says, doesn't it say Coils mm-hmm. with like an apostrophe S? So it has, it does have to be a brand of some sort. Mm-hmm. So I do think that's an indication that he traveled forward. Mm-hmm. I, I think what it is. Yeah. But Sam, I did really want to like Sam. I did because he's he nice to Dell. But he was a womanizer a little, little bit there. And he went from like full on womanizer to like mm-hmm. committed. Mm-hmm. Yes. By like when meeting her after like once. Yep. No. Dale's just been alone too long and she's too gullible. Well, I mean, we all kind of were like, oh yeah, give him a shot, give him a shot. Yeah, so I did it. I didn't like, like him from I the beginning. It, He's but... always been like a little bit of like, and then when he yeah. tried to give her the money at first, I was like, dude, he's trying to supply your business. But I think he was trying to get the, I think he was trying to make a land grab. Now that I know, now yeah. that I've seen the end, that's what I oh, think yeah. now. Yeah. But when they first, when that Goodwin thing first came up, every, because Casey, didn't she talk to Dale about it when Sam was right there? Wasn't Sam standing next to Dell when Casey was like, oh, my dad said he no longer mm-hmm. wants to do this. Yeah. He didn't look real happy about it. Yeah. No. So I do feel like he might be a good one. That was my first thought was He's he might be a good one. He would win. definitely fit. He do we fits. know his last name? No. Well, I'm sure we do. But I don't I remember it though. Is- I think he's got, I think it's a different last name, but like. But that- you can change yeah. names, especially if you're a time traveler. Yeah, like yeah. Jeanette said, if you know the power of a name. Mm-hmm. Sam. Especially if he's there, like if we know he's there. Sam Bishop. Yeah. He's not going to use the name like. No. Especially when he has Colton trapped in a horse. Wait. Exactly. That makes that theory all the more real now though. (laughs) He's so evil that he took Dell's love of her life and trapped it in a horse and is toying with her with it. So look, I googled the way home Sam to find his last name and this is what it says. Theories? Yes. This has to be wrong. I mean, this is obviously wrong, but it's just weird. Sam Bishop is a character in the 2023 TV series The Way Home, played by Rob Stewart. <laughs> Rob Stewart, first of all. Sorry, I had to, just got that too. I'm not going to um, be able to see him and think not think <laughs> Rob Stewart. <laughs> I know. The series is about three generations of women from the Landry family who live in a small town of Port Haven and discovered they have some time-traveling powers. Sam is also known as Young Nick in the series. <laughs> What? That threw me off. <laughs> no, Nick. Yeah, so Nick. he made out with 17 year old Alice, <laughs> went to the future, realized, oh, this is gross. I'm 40 or 17, and then came back as an old man. He's like, I'm going to mac on your grandma now. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to laugh. I will laugh Look, so, he so really hard wants if that's that... true. And I will feel I mean, so vindic- he really he wants that boat. He really wants that boat. Really wants boat. <laughs> She wouldn't give it to him. He thought, I'll get that boat. What? I'm going to take your whole land since you wouldn't give me the boat. <laughs> oh, I so hope that's true. I oh, hope man. that is true. Oh, my gosh. The Way Home is based on a true story. What? Oh about gosh. how a rural community helped a family find their missing two-year-old son. Really? I don't think time travel was involved, though. 
I'm pretty loosely certain. Based. Loosely <laughs> based, obviously. I think they're missing some words in that description. <laughs> I want to interview the somebody who helped in this because I want to know where time traveling came involved. Wow. <laughs> and is there a real pond? Let's find those people. <laughs> I got questions. <laughs> When it says so is where is this magical pond Nick. located <laughs> oh my gosh oh my I really, that is my favorite new theory that sam is young, <laughs> is old nick oh please be true i will feel you you have I mean, no idea no 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 you have no idea how vindicated i will feel both, about the grossness of nick if this is true they both have those beautiful blue eyes like, I'm say they both have like blue it's eyes. nick it's nick that's our new theory colton oh. is the horse and sam is nick yes okay <gasps> What? Amanda? What no, this? even when I Google, how are you like, theories? Sam, I, I Googled, like, I closed it out, Googled Sam the way home, and it just pulls pictures of a, him and young Nick. <laughs> okay, doing it, doing it. And I'm going to share the was screen so we like have a, that. I want to see if yours does the same thing or if my is this computer's like a just. <laughs> I definitely get some I went to images. I okay. have some Nick popping up. And Spider Man. Yeah, that too. <laughs> same. <laughs> It's because so, of the way home on that one. It's either. <laughs> He's Spider-Man. Spider-Man's coming next season. There's a lot of Spider-Man. Because it's Spider-Man the way home. Yeah. Oh. No way home is actually no way home. Okay, but just here's here's what Are I you want. You getting Nick too? Yeah. No? Yeah, I got well, I got a couple pictures of Nick. I just yeah. Just, just young. I want you to look at this picture and then think of this as as old Nick, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how sweet Nick is. He's gonna get that boat. Come hell in the water. <laughs> he went skinny dipping. With- <laughs> Ooh, he did. <laughs> He's very committed to the boat. <laughs> look at that side profile. Look at that side profile. Oh, I look. Maximize I it. Mean... Look at the nose. Oh, exactly. I'm like... sold. A uh, Nick. Nick is. <laughs> I'm sold. My favorite theory. Thank you, Google. That is so funny. <laughs> I will be really but upset. Why does it make a little, little sense? <laughs> it makes so much sense. Although I'm also, also getting pictures of Thomas Noah looks like though, Brady. Y'all. Noah looks like it. Brady too. So, oh, I got well, yeah, see, yeah. I'm getting pictures of Thomas too, though. Like oh, I got God. really obsessed with Thomas that I even looked up to see if he was in other shows. Because I was like, I feel like I want to watch other shows that he's in. Okay, wait. Here's here's one I want to read. This one is um, okay. It says first, there's his house about Sam. The neighbor tells Dell that his house was not for sale, but Sam just walked up to his door, made him an offer he couldn't refuse. I forgot that that's how he got that house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the neighbor was insistent, my house isn't for sale. And then Sam just comes in. And he's like, hmm, there's no object. Give me your house. I want it. And he mm-hmm. sold it to him. Now, did anybody ever see that guy again? No. <laughs> I think the offer he couldn't refuse was a pistol to the face. <laughs> I don't mean to like, laugh I feel like at that's that. how I'm they not... would handle things in the 1800s. Yes. <laughs> and they really honed in on that gun in Kat's office, too. Well, that's because it was right after the duel, and that's the gun that killed. I think it has more than that, though, with it. I'm just wondering okay, how, Nick and Alice. why they have um, Goodwin's gun. And not Thomas because it was it came from Evelyn Goodwin's house. Oh yeah. Duh. Oh, and she also said that that was the gun that shot her, right? So that is Thomas's gun. So why is that at the why was that at the Goodwin house? Okay, well, is it Thomas's gun or is it? I, I that remember was... her telling Alice. I'm pretty sure that that was the gun that shot her. I found this on a Reddit thread of okay. spoilers for the way home, and it said Hall- Hallmark removed possible huge spoiler from the finale recap. <laughs> And it says, wow, so do you want me to read it? Yes. yes. Okay. Wow, so according to this article, Hallmark's, Hallmark's original recap referred to the ending scene as taking place in the 1800s. They later removed it. If you scroll down a bit the article, you can click on a link that will take you to the screenshot of the original recap. Maybe it's just a mistake. Maybe it wasn't. I love the idea of Colton being from the 1800s, although that means he's TTs into the future. Time travels. Oh, is that like a common thing? No, I just, no, I just yeah, I thought I, it came to my mind. As okay, as well, I'm stupid. <laughs> this is Hallmark quietly removes possible clue to the way home ending. So it he, it is the 1800s. Okay. okay. So he has to know Thomas Coyle from that time. He had to have met Thomas Coyle. 
So did he see Jacob back then? I wonder if it's only eight like buddies. Like this is weird. Like, it's only eighteen fourteen when she goes back, and Jacob has been there for twenty four years, right? He's been yeah. there since. So like, he's seven. been there since seventeen ninety. Okay, is that correct math? So, yeah. So is Colton Jacob's son? Oh my god! Unless Colton is. You remember the brother, Jacob's brother, who named his son Jacob? Maybe that is Colton. But no, he said that last one. No, he had a different name. Yeah. But yeah, he did. He actually named him Jacob. I said that last time. (laughs) Let me see the screenshot of it. It's in a Facebook group for it. And that wouldn't be weird in any way. Okay, I got a new theory now. Just a little one. Okay. So let's say that that's happening in the early 1800s. We jump forward a little bit. What if that old lady is Susanna? What old lady? Oh, could lady be. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. But it could be it's from the 1800s. They kept, her, they kept her face kind of blurry. Because mm-hmm. they, she would be much older, but she would yeah. still be in the 1800s. Yeah. So what if Colt... No, see, that, that makes Colt sense. has to be a Landry. So... But she's grandma. We have I, think Jake, grandma. I think Colton is Susanna and, Jake, and Jacob's son. It's not going to be Jacobs. It's going to be Thomas Goyles, y'all. And this is how we're going to not have Catherine and him together. This is going to be like... But they already no. made out. So see, okay, look. Thomas isn't his daddy, but it's his granddaddy, okay. apparently. Here, on that Facebook thread where it showed the screenshot of Hallmark, somebody said there is a Colton who was born in 1830 and died in 1895. Maybe Ooh. the little Colton is an ancestor of Colton from 1999. Although... What if he didn't die in 1895? He transported to the future in 1895. So how old? And they assumed him dead. Oh, because he'd be too old if he was born in 1830. I'd be 65. That is pretty. Unless he kept traveling back and forth, back and forth, back. (laughs) Colt's not 65 years old. He could be. No. What if in one of the trips somebody? meets colton on the road and transports him to the pond and then Susanna heals him and then he lives there until 16 1895 so that's how he's not dead he remains in his time oh maybe and they just no who how's that little boy colton then okay so they took a screenshot and the way they got that is because they took a screenshot from um the memoranda the book of the family mm-hmm. stuff and it does list colton there from 1830 to 1865 1830 to what 1865 not 95 95. i'm sorry 95 it's 95 okay because i was gonna say 65 might work okay let me see i'm reading the replies to that because i didn't even see i need to watch it again because i didn't now that's the other thing is Susanna put that book in the fireplace Mm -hmm. right for her to publish i don't think it was just for her to publish i think it was for her to get information i think she was trying to try to code a word just like she did with the painting she was trying to give a coded message to her somehow and she cat might understand that more next season when she actually starts digging into everything that Susanna left behind because I don't feel like you've really gotten to see her like read it all next season I want to see Alice doing some I I preferred season like I like the information we got in season two best but I preferred Alice doing the time traveling versus Kat doing I think I prefer I think I like Alice's character better than I do Kat's character oh I absolutely agree with that I don't know I love I mean Kat's okay but like I feel like she just really makes some dumb like she really makes some dumb choices sometimes. She like she she's lives with her heart. Yeah. Too much. Okay, someone else pointed this out. They said, does anyone else think it's weird that Jacob called Elijah by his name and not dad? And someone said, I do think it's a lot, especially since he refers to Rebecca as mother on more than one occasion. But Elijah was never dad. Hmm, that is interesting. Could that be because Colton was there? But why wouldn't Jacob tell Kat that? There's a lot of things that Jacob didn't tell Kat and a lot of things Kat didn't but tell Jacob. now... Maybe he's going to say it now. Maybe he's returning because he, he wants to try to save his dad somehow. I don't know. Because he knows that he's dead now. Yeah. I don't know. So I think we do know now that this is... Colton was in the 1800s. Yeah. I think that's a big, big deal. So we are not done in the 1800s. He's from the 1800s. Yes. Because she's teaching him. And that's the other thing is that when did they stop? Te- when did the Landry stop teaching about the pond? Because clearly Colton's grandmother taught him about the pond before maybe he jumped Colton's in. the last one. Maybe. Maybe also, maybe Colton didn't tell because he was a friend. But see, the thing, the, what bothers me is if Colton knew that the pond was a t- time travel, which obviously we see that he did, why didn't he think that that's what could have happened to Jacob? 
And maybe, I think he might could have. He he because they they she was always saying like Colton's always out like looking for him. Mm-hmm. But the part that bothers me then is why let why not let Dell know that there's a possibility? Why not inform her? Why are we? Why did everyone? Up. He I probably went know. and jumped in over and over and over again, and it wasn't letting him travel. And he was I'll, just like, but why keep that from her though? Like I would rather. Would she believe it? I don't know. Especially if she would believe anything if it gave her hope. I think she would believe whatever Colton told her. Like, but here's the thing, though: what if Colton couldn't get back there, and so he would take Dale, be like, "Hey, let me show you," and then jump at the pond, and maybe he was waiting until he could actually successfully time travel again because the pond takes you where you need to go, and Jacob needed to be in 1814, so maybe it wasn't letting Colton back there. As a mother, like just the idea possibility that like there's another solution than my child was just murdered. Oh, I agree. I'll yeah. Take that solution. Like it's the unknowing. I think that would do me in the worst. Like if they never found him, so it's just like yeah, an so, unknown. I mean, so give her an option of something else to hold on to at some point. Then I don't know. Okay, um, the showrunner. This is something TV Lane posted. Um, they said the way home, Sam seemed to have quite a reaction in the finale when Dell said that the coins were from the 1800s. Was that hinting at something? And the showrunner said, no, I don't think so. Sam has his own secrets for sure, and that's something we're exploring as we move forward. But no, the coin thing, I think, was just him expressing awe. Well, then he, that, so. that, he didn't do a very good job with that. He didn't express awe. He expressed, like, I'm coveting. Sick. Concern. Like, yeah. he expressed yeah. covetousness that's what he expressed so that actor needs to like he didn't do as good of a job as he should have then if that's supposed to be off mm-hmm. like that wasn't what was conveyed there so i think they're messing with us i don't think that's true i mean i don't think they would go, come up and just say that any, anyways they're gonna try to throw us off yeah i agree I, i'm gonna okay i'm gonna read the, we need the interviews later. with these people yes. yep 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 and they're done now so we can there's not they don't know what's going on next season so there's no danger in them if, if with you us. send me like your um template i can message people i okay. just don't know what yeah, to say yes I, I would like to do that um all right so we talked about sam we talked about thomas Coyle. we talked about okay jacob coming back why do we think jacob came back the way he did because he was insistent i'm not going back i'm not going back know. i think it's weird actually yeah. it is weird well he said that you know they wouldn't they wanted him to come back i don't but i think there's why? way more to it yes there's way more to it i don't i don't think he's lying exactly but i don't think he's giving the full story i think there's i think he had to come back and i think that they told him you have to go you have to go you have to go but i think it's because he was in grave danger staying but i don't know why it had something to do with the goodwins i think but i don't know why i don't trust jacob's character all that much and i don't know why I, don't... I don't either no, I, I feel the same way. I feel like he's hiding a lot of stuff and because he's had a whole nother life. Maybe this is because he was also supposed to be hiding stuff when we saw him on School Spirit. So it's already in my brain that this guy is sketchy. I don't know, <laughs> but it's there. Well, I, I think when there's that show coming back. I don't know. I, hope I don't think it's been renewed. Oh, there's... I thought it was. Oh, I didn't think. I thought it was before the writer's strike, but then they had to scrap it. When the writer's strike happened is what I thought. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. That. On March 12th, they announced that School Spirits was renewed for season of two. 24? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that announcement. but I just knew that during the writer's strike, they had said it was scrapped. I thought they had said it was scrapped. Good. It's coming back then. I don't know when then. Um, but with Jacob, he there was that one scene where she was like, this is not the Jacob I know. He would never do this. When A, you're an idiot because he was nine when you last knew him. You know nothing about adult Jacob. But also the fact that they highlighted how far from the boy that she knew he had come, yeah. I think is important. I think that he was trained by Thomas Coyle. And I don't think he's bad, but I think it's almost like a Robin Hood sort of situation where he's taking from the wealthy to supply the poor, that sort of thing. Yeah. But I think it's going to get him in trouble. And I think mm-hmm. that he is in a lot of trouble for doing that. Mm-hmm. I, so I think he's he's hiding things from her because he protects people is what I think he's doing. Just like Thomas Coy was not being fully open and honest because he didn't want to involve where he shouldn't. But yeah. there's definitely something more to him. I don't think it's bad, but I think there's something more to him. And now I don't know how to feel about Sam either because that was my thought before. And now the coin thing had it switched, but then the showrunner said something else. So now I don't know what to believe about Thomas. I don't Coy. know. I've... All right. So Colton, I don't, I don't think Colton is dead. I think he survived that hit because Kat left him there. And I think she changed, I think she changed the past by seeing him right before he died, before he died. So I think somehow, because she came out of the woods and found him there. So he was fairly close to the pond. 
So maybe the pond brought her there for a reason is going to just so she could, I don't know. But I think the somehow pond? he made it. No, Colton, when no. he died outside the truck, or she yeah. didn't watch him die, I don't think. But she saw him there and then she ran off before he died. Yeah. So I think somehow he made it back to the pond or something. And I think Colton is still alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Possibly in the horse. Maybe. maybe I hope so. Survive. We're talking about Jacob returning home. That's going to be a weird conversation for Dell. I yeah. want them. I need them to tell. I feel like Del it's not going to be like they're going to go in the house and sit down and tell her. I feel like there's something that's going to make it like harder to tell her. I feel like they aren't going to say anything. I feel like he's going to walk in the room and she's going to recognize that's her boy, I and she's so. she's going to run to him and she's going to weep and cry. But I think I I still think that they're going to hide from her that he's a time traveler and that they can all time travel. I think they're all going to hide that from her, and that's going to tick me. He's off. A little dress for not that though yeah, i don't think she's gonna notice that after 24 years without him i don't think she's gonna even notice his dress i think she's just gonna be like my boy my boy my boy maybe yeah maybe okay. I but there going. is something there's something to that woman too that that uh psychic oh yeah here i'm drowning that's gonna come mm-hmm. back yeah I think so no I, I definitely we're not done with that no so we hit the big points. I'm sure I'm, in fact, I'm sure we're all positive that there are things that we did not discuss here because they were, there's so much in this show. We just wanted yeah. to discuss the bigger, bigger, bigger points and kind of discuss theories. Next season, we're going to, I believe we're going to see the time traveling forward, but I also think we're going to dive mm-hmm. into Colton's past in 1800s, especially since we see that Hallmark said he's from the 1800s. Mm-hmm. I think it might be late 1800s though. Yeah. Somehow Thomas Coyle is doing something with him. I don't know. But we're going to find out, I think, more about the Goodwins. I think we're going to find out more about Colton in the 1800s. I think we're going to find out about the Goodwins in the future. I think Thomas Coyle is coming back mm-hmm. in the future. I think he's going to come forward rather than not go back. Yeah. And that's all I got. Thomas is Colton and a horse. That's that's it. That's all I got. Oh, and <laughs> Nick is <I> Sam. <laughs> Nick is Sam. Oh. Nick is Sam. Yeah, that might be. Nick I don't and Sam. Like it, I don't like it. Oh, I but... so hope it. I so hope that theory is correct. What are your theories going forward and then we'll close out? I mean, I think a lot of what you said, I mean, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think we're all in pretty much agreement. I think the only thing is, I, I mean, I'm, I'm putting it out there because I like to have it out there. I, I really think that that woman with Colton is Susanna. I think that fits. I think it's either Susanna or um, Lady in the Window. Evelyn? Evelyn. Evelyn. I was like, E, E, E. Yeah, that's an option too. Yeah. Especially if it's 1890s, because mm-hmm. Susanna is in her 20s in 1814. Mm-hmm. So moving fits. 70 years forward, that could be Susanna as grandmother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would fit time fits. That's thank you for bringing up Evelyn because there's something with Evelyn too. I think we're gonna learn yeah. more about her role. Yeah. I hope so. Because <clears> she's <throat> got to have noticed this lady looks a lot like the current Catherine. She has to have noticed that. Oh, right. yeah. uh, the older she gets like yeah you'd have to be like wait a minute the more like, and more you would know yeah all right so i think we're gonna end here we have a lot of questions a lot of theories we are hoping to get you more of the way home content we're not gonna say how but we're hoping to get you more of the way home content what we have coming at you bridgerton is returning for part one in may part two in june we're gonna bring you some reviews of that again we're not doing full-blown recaps anymore we're just giving you our reviews of the episodes of the show's talking favorite least favorite we also are going to have a bear season one and two review coming at you sort of recap right before it comes it's supposed to come back in june season three is supposed to come out in june so oh i'm so excited for that that's coming at you we've got some more akatar stuff coming at you and i believe we're going to do some um iron flame sort of stuff coming at you soon ish the more we get defined on the shows that are coming out if you don't know akatar is being made into a show i um fourth wing. fourth wing geez Fourth Wing is being made into a show, so we're going to be doing those closer to that. Watch our new Facebook group page. It's Fandom Family Chats. It is going to be all of our discussions of all the shows, all that we watch, all the books that we read. It's not just for our podcast. It's all of our stuff that's there. So check out that. Make sure you're giving us a subscribe and a like on our YouTube channel so we can get you more content that you want from cast and crew. And until then, we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Loving our content? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to share our podcast with your family and friends. We want to continue the conversation with you. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok under Fandom Family Chats, or one of our ever-growing Facebook groups by searching Family Fan Club. We've also launched a website, Family Fan Club 2021 at Wixsite.com. You can email us there and keep checking it for announcements and merch coming soon. And of course, be sure to tune in every week for new episodes discussing all your favorite shows.